Hey people, I'm here today to talk about a bunch of Kickstarters. There's so many Kickstarters going on these days, um, but I, I have a couple that I really love. Um, two of them that I'm gonna mention I'm involved with because I'm doing the supports, but I'm still in love with them. That's why I agreed to do the supports even. And the other ones I'm not involved with in any way, shape, or form. I just think they're really cool. Uh, you guys know whenever I recommend a Kickstarter, it usually has great art in it. Um, it has to have value for the money. Uh, or, or I won't talk about it. So, so I don't want to waste time. Let's jump right in. Let's talk about the first one. is very different from the others because it's a, it's the only one I'm talking about today. That's science fiction. So whatever Starfinder or any of those other, any of those other type of games. Uh, it's Arvalon Eight. I have a link to it uh, down below. There are I think if everything gets unlocked, which it's close, it's only one day left. It's 50 minis, all these different crew members, really awesome models. I'll have a couple pictures at the end of the video of some that I've printed out. There's like 12 or 13 ships locked already. The ships, uh, I'm not pre-supporting those. Those are, those are bigger prints, but the ships are awesome. Uh, it also comes with terrain on top of that. So you can talk about like bang for your buck. You can get 50 minis. I think if everything gets unlocked today, it'll be like 50 minis, like 20 ships and a whole bunch of terrain and the terrain you can use for like Warhammer type games or anything. It's it's just general like sci-fi, like cool desert planet terrain. So definitely check out Arvalon 8. Um, and again, that one I'm doing the supports on. So those 50 minis, you're gonna be able to plug them in, print them. So, you know, the, the, the ones I've done so far, you peel the supports off looking great. Like I said, stay tuned for some picks. Uh, next one up, also that I'm doing the supports on, is the Woodlands Tribe. Now this one, I'm gonna admit, is more of a niche pick. Because the figures, well, first of all, the figures when you first look at them, to me, even when I first saw it, it's almost like it's too much. It hits you, the art style and all this stuff. And there's antlers coming out of everything and whatever. But then you look closely. If you look closely at it, the sculptor is actually brilliant. Like the sculpts are really incredible and incredibly detailed. Um, but you have to look at it for a few seconds to see kind of what it is. Like there's one with a gorilla with a mammoth. He's wearing a mammoth head like trailing down his back. So first I was like, what the hell is that? And then you look closely and see what it is. And man, the sculpt is actually really, really cool. So I know it's a little bit more of a niche pick than maybe even appealing more to a lot of artists and stuff because I think it's some really cool stuff to paint. But definitely take, check out Woodland Tribes. That also comes with a lot of terrain. And the terrain, as nice as the models are, the figures, I think the terrain's incredible. Like the terrain is really cool looking and very different than other stuff I've seen out there. So definitely check out Woodland Tribe. Um, for another one now that I'm not involved with, uh, Fantastic Plants, I think is the official name, by Emmanuel Lepus, who does, uh, I think, Print Your Monsters is his Patreon. I'll, I'll double check and I'll link in the, uh, in the description. I backed that day one because he's got these really cool like fantasy plants and rocks. And even if you can't use some of them, I think there's like 100, 200 models now unlocked or more. And you can definitely use a bunch of them and, and they'll look good on any table. You can paint them up for fantasy. You could do it for sci-fi, basically for anything. So definitely check out the Plants Kickstarter. That one's blowing up. Um, Arvalon 8 also is blowing up. Woodland's trying to do okay, but I think it needs a little more exposure, so I'm hoping to give it some today. Um, and the last one I want to talk about today, uh, this one we're going to talk about for a minute or two just because for nostalgia reasons. So one of the cool things about 3D printing now is now that it's making more money for people, you see some companies coming in that were just selling physical products before, like... Titan Forge on Patreon or Raging Heroes, whose Patreon is Infinite Heroes. Well, there, there were some, what I thought were incredible orc models that I looked at many times over the last, you know, 10 years plus that I kind of wanted to buy. But to be honest, the resin cast models of these were really expensive. I think for, for the orc that I wanted from this sculptor, it was like over 35 bucks and they were shipping. So I was like, I couldn't justify it compared to the cheaper prices I could get, even though I love the models. And that maker is Yedharo Miniatures, um, Y-E-D-H-A-R-O, and I'll have a link to their website and, and, and to the Kickstarter. So anyway, I was jonesing after a couple of these incredibly like buff orc models that I just, I love the art style on it. Then all of a sudden I turned around and they have a, a 3D printable Kickstarter. So like that orc that I wanted that costs $30, $35 plus shipping, well, it's in a Kickstarter now where I think for around 70 bucks, you get 70 figures. So yes, a dollar per figure. So even if I don't want all the figures, the fact that all the orcs that he made that I wanted, and especially this one like orc chieftain guy, for 70 bucks, I get 70 of his models and including 
you know, 10 or 12 that, I, that I'd wanted that cost like 35, 40 bucks each, whatever they came to, you know, and I wasn't spending 400 on them, but for 70 bucks, I can print as many of them as I want at home. Plus there's a ton of other cool models in there that I, that I really liked, but not enough to buy. But now if I just have them, I'm going to use them. So that's, that's, that's really exciting for me and I'm, I'm excited. I think some other people who made just physical models in the past, are going to be coming in with Kickstarter soon, hopefully. And I'm, you know, I'm looking at you, Avatars of War. People who collect minis know Avatars of War. I'm looking at Atlantis Miniatures. Uh, you know, there, there are some guys out there who've been making really high quality, uh, physical product for many years, but didn't dip their toes into the STL waters yet. And I'm really hoping to see a lot of these players. I think with all the money we're seeing in some of these Kickstarters, we're going to see a lot of these other players come in. And hey, Reaper and GW, I'm looking at you guys. I know it might take another year or two for you guys to realize you need to be in this market. But if you guys are watching, start thinking about it. If you've already started thinking about it, move faster. The, the .STL market is huge. Some of these Kickstarters are killing it, like from Fat Dragon Games, from Printable Scenery. I mean, uh, I know uh, Danny who did... Uh, Lost Dragons and Lost Adventures, which were both smash hits, is working on a new Kickstarter also, which is coming soon. So it's really exciting. A lot of great Kickstarters come in. We, we in the 3D printing community, I consider us very spoiled. What we can get these days for not much money, it's pretty incredible. Like I just did the Bloodfields Kickstarter, which just ended, and 40 plus models for you know 30 bucks. You know, come on. This, this is crazy. We, we are really being spoiled by the artists and creators out there, getting a lot of bang for our buck. And it's, there's never been a better time to be 3D printing this stuff at home. So anyway, I don't want to blab on too much about that stuff. Uh, but check out those Kickstarters, Arvalon 8, Woodlands Tribe, Yedharo Miniatures. I'm not sure what the official name of their Kickstarter is, but I'll have it linked. Um, and Fantastic Plants by Emmanuel Lepis. Uh, again, I think it's Print Your Monsters. I hope, I'm, I hope that's the one because I keep saying it. If not, I'll correct it down below. Uh, but anyway, definitely four Kickstars you want to be checking out right now. And uh, that's it. I'll be back soon with some more 3D printing tips, some more informational videos about how your resin printer works and how that should affect your settings. So expect some more videos from me very shortly. I'm working on all those right now. And I'm also working on a couple of resin tests for my Patreon as well. Thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing.